Ah, okay, the person that we are about to talk about in this video, I don't really know how we can describe them beyond saying this guy sucks, but then if I title this video this guy sucks, everyone's gonna be super confused, they have no idea who this guy is, so I'm gonna have to figure out something a little bit more creative, so whatever I went with, I hope that you enjoy it, but just know that this guy sucks. Okay, I think you need a little bit of context before we get into everything that he has currently done over the last couple of days. Back in May, he tweeted, nice hat, POV of being a rich developer where the rules do not apply to you like they do the peasants. Such an interesting way to word this entire tweet because in this case, he is the, the peasants that he is referencing is basically himself. That's not even an insult, let me get into this. So what he was kind of calling this person out for was apparently copying an already existing Roblox accessory. In the image, the one at the bottom here, the verified sign by Roblox, and then at the top is the one created by Maximum underscore ADHD. I do not have any prizes. You can see that both of them are signs, but you can also see that both of them are very different. And the second image is basically the same thing. At the top we have the UGC version, at the bottom is the Roblox version, and the texture of the wood is clearly very much the same. Like they just took that from the original item, but still when it comes down to it, looking at both of these items side by side, they are so very different that this does not even matter. And that's why this sign, even after I guess being called out or exposed, is still up. Readers added context to this tweet, by the way. They said the peasants is the original poster in this case. OP uploads one-to-one -one recreations of limited items which violates Roblox's marketplace policy which applies to all users do not create items that are overly similar to existing items. OP uploads these items to their group. Again, OP is basically this Maxell guy, this guy that sucks, the guy that sucks, the one that I've been telling you about. So he, back in May, called out and exposed, I guess, this one individual person for, I guess, copying a Roblox accessory when we can all see that these are so very clearly very different. Now let me take you to this post from 10 hours ago from Maxell. He said, got some insane new Valks. One of these is a limited, the rest are on sales. Enjoy. In these images, you can see that these are quite literally just Valkyries. I mean, the texture is very different, obviously, but the asset itself, the model, is clearly just the Valk taken straight from Roblox. Which, we've been over this, I've been over this so many times, at this point, this happens so much within the UGC catalogue that I stopped caring a long time ago. If someone decides to upload already existing Roblox accessories or limiteds, I don't care, that's not what this is about. It's just so funny and so ironic to see that his entire UGC catalogue, his entire UGC portfolio is made up of copied Roblox accessories and copied Roblox limiteds and then he goes on to call out other people for a Apparently doing what he does every single day, except it's really not comparable in the slightest. But what we have going on today, I mean that was just a little bit of context as to who this guy is. What we have going on today, he is apparently now stealing from other UGC creators and not just Roblox. So this Chris guy is the, I guess, victim in all of this. Maxell is the one who is stealing from Chris. Not even trying to hide the fact you mass reported my items and decided to repost them after I literally drew this face from scratch in paint.net at 3 in the morning. There is absolutely no denying that both of these are exactly the same face. Exactly the same head, the same face, everything. It was basically, it wasn't even copied. Maxell didn't try to copy the face and recreate it as closely as he could. He quite literally took the asset. He stole it and re-uploaded it as his own. He stole a face my friend drew from scratch as well. Again, this is pretty much exactly the same thing. The, this one at least has some slight differences, but it's so clear that this is basically what this guy does. He's now stealing from other UGC creators. And even worse than this, he's actually fighting back. And to me, he seems genuinely confused and I guess entitled to the fact that these guys are fighting back because I guess when he steals from 
from Roblox, they aren't gonna do anything. They're not gonna say anything to him. They're not gonna go fight him on Twitter. So when he steals from a real person who creates real items by themselves from scratch, yeah, he's a little bit shocked when they start fighting back because obviously they are going to start fighting back. The fact still remains that he stole these items, re-uploaded them, and he's like doubling down on the fact that he stole them and even trying to justify it. So in response, he said, thanks for the free advertisement. No, I didn't must report your faces. I saw them go down and considered that since you didn't appeal the other ones that were deleted, which I had actually messaged you asking what happened, I'm going to fill that demand void. I check deleted items multiple times every day. You've had some kind of weird obsession with me for a while based on your comments in your server, which was enough justification for me to swoop in. Not sorry. Hit the game not the player. The world does not revolve around you like you think it does. I think he needs to take his own advice. On that last little statement that he made, the world does not revolve around you like you think it does. Absolutely not. He seems very entitled, I would say. So he's not apologizing for stealing these items. He's not saying that he didn't steal them or re-upload them. He is doubling down on the fact that he did that and then even justifying it by saying he's going to fill the void, the demand void. So he's saying that people will want these items so much that instead of giving the original creator time to appeal them or even asking, hey, do you want me to re-upload this for you? He just took them. And even saying that he checks deleted items multiple times every day, that seems so, so very sad to me. Because why are you checking deleted items on Roblox multiple times a day just for your chance to steal them and re-upload them as your own? Because they are now deleted and I guess they no longer exist on Roblox, so you can kind of get away with it in some weird loophole. The fact he even said it was enough justification for him to swoop in, like he knows that he is a vulture and nothing more than that, nothing less than that. Making a carbon copy of someone's item after it gets deleted isn't filling a demand void, it's shameless plagiarism. Regardless if you reported the items or not, this is zero integrity loser behaviour and you should lose your UGC uploading permissions, absolutely agree with everything that he just said. Maybe not only lose the UGC permissions, maybe get terminated because this is just crazy. I think stealing these things in the first place is bad enough but then to double down on it, justify it and say everything that he just said. Yeah, terminate this guy. <laughs> For the record, I have sent DMCA takedown requests via Roblox's rights manager over 24 hours ago yet they are still pending. I've never had any takedown requests take longer than 1 to 12 hours to process. I don't know what's going on and there isn't much I can do but wait. Looking at the replies, a lot of people are saying the fake one got taken down and it's true. The one uploaded by Maxell says this item appears to have been content deleted. Now the problem with this is he's already planning to fight that. He responded said thanks for letting me know in advance. I've got my counter notices ready to go and emails drafted. Do your worst. Do you know how sad of an existence it is to like openly and willingly admit I check deleted items multiple times every day and then sit there uh, read someone saying that they are going to DMCA take down items that you stole from them and say that you're sitting drafting emails to counter that. Please, please do something else F for your own sake. This is just such a sad existence. It's Roblox. It's not that deep. Chris did reply again, but then Maxell replied again. This time there is not a big essay or anime villain speech. He really just said save the yap and send the DMCA so I can send my counter notices. I've got them all queued up and ready to go just waiting on you. This is so sad. Is there really nothing else that he could be doing? Like I'm not even trying to be mean or hate on him at this point. I'm just genuinely a little bit concerned. And going back to the post that I showed you earlier about the Valkyries that he uploaded, someone said is there any reason you upload these on your main account but when you copy someone it's on an alt account and he said uh, something that nobody really cares about. He said yes actually heads and packages cannot be posted to groups yet. If or when we can do that I would post them to the group. Probably just finding some kind of an excuse. Not trying to say like, oh no, I didn't copy someone. I never copy anyone. He literally just said, yeah, I, I do that. And there is a real reason that I do that. Like, come on. It's really funny though, the way that people are responding to him. Schlepp said, you should just 
delete your account and I mean if Roblox doesn't do it for him I kind of hope that he does it himself to be honest. I'm going through the rest of his replies on like literally everything that he tweeted it's so funny because a couple months ago he used to get like one or two replies sometimes zero replies but now he's getting hundreds of replies of people just saying things like I don't like you it's so funny to me but not surprisingly he seems to be just blocking everyone and I mean, I don't use Twitter very much, so I'm not blocked and that's why I can show you guys everything, but I don't know. This guy sucks. I said it at the start of this video. I don't really know how else to word this or title this video. This guy sucks. So please, the comments is the place to go. Tell me what you guys think about this UGC creator stealing from other UGC creators and getting confused when they fight back. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.